Made it down here to my villa or whatever it's called. I don't know, just a little two bedroom, three bedroom little villa thing. Got my Mountain Dew this morning. Shoot, I'm about ready to go. The thing is, when about this trip is, I got down here, I met with uh, Chris from Let's Dig and Mike from Dirt Perfect last night. We all did dinner, but uh, it, this little subdivision place that I'm living in doesn't allow you to bring your trailers in. So I've got, my, <laughs> I had to find an overnight parking for 10 bucks a night to leave my trailer in. So I've got to go pick up my trailer with my buggy in it. And then we're going to head to the auction this morning. And uh, they, from what they were saying last night, there's a lot of stuff there. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll look at some stuff. I'm definitely interested in a four in one bucket. They have a lot of those Chinese mini excavators here. However, I don't want to buy one here because I'm, I'm five hours away. It's it's about a five hour trip. And if you drive slow, it's six hours, you know, stopping to eat and use the bathroom or whatnot. So I don't think I'll buy a Chinese excavator in this video. They do, they will have a lot of them there. Well, my buggy's still here. So that's a good thing. You never know about these big cities, you know? But I had a, a couple locks on it, so it should be all right. Let's get hooked up and head down to the auction. So if I can get this thing out of here without wrecking it. Let's go to an auction, shall we? Alright, so we're getting, we just pulled in. How's it going? What you got? When you go in, uh -huh. you're going to go all the way down. There's an opening in that back fence. It's on the kind of on the side along yes, this row. All right. That's where trucks and you guys got mules. That's what you get to Tip. do is unload out there. <laughs> Please make it tight. Don't like you take bet. up a bunch of room. Alright, thanks sir. Appreciate Have it. Good day. Yep. Follow this guy. You're gonna park me down here where the mules are. Alright, I'll be back with y'all here in a sec. Alright, we are good to go. Alright, got her unloaded. Let's head up to the let's head up to the auction. See if we can get get into some trouble. Spend a lot of money. <laughs> Well, I say they have a telehandler or two or sky lift or two. Go take a look at some of this stuff. This ring four over here. Put traffic on. Let's walk in here and the little stuff right quick. I just saw uh I just saw Mike Mike and uh, Chris pull up, so I'll go check with them in a minute. You know, at this auction, there's going to be a lot of big companies taking their assets and getting rid of them, and some smaller businesses can take advantage of the prices that they get at the auction. And it got me thinking about today's sponsor, which is North One. North One is a FDIC-insured business banking account. And the cool thing about it is it allows you to integrate all these things that you can do as a business owner or an entrepreneur. You can do things like send and receive payments, ACH and wire transfers, track your spending, things like that, all 
through the North One app. Everyone wants to know the pricing of a North One account. There's no monthly fees. There's no overdraft protection fees. There's no minimum balance fees, etc. There's no hidden fees when you sign up for a North One business account. If you want to do more than what the basic service offers, then there is paid tiers that you can do you know get more benefits from the north one business account if you so choose to you can create these envelopes that help you kind of compartmentalize or budget your spending in these little envelopes and you can create rules of the money that goes in and out of these envelopes and it really helps you manage the finances that are coming in and going out of your business some of these rules may be like every time i get a payment i can allocate 15 percent to go into the tax envelope so at tax season you don't have to worry about what's going on because you've already got your taxes set aside in these envelopes you click on a button boom there it is it only takes three minutes to apply for a north one business account it's completely free and it doesn't affect your credit if you use the link that i put in the description and the pinned comment below you'll get a ten dollar credit to open up your first north one business account so take advantage of that offer today so this is all the little stuff like i see an air compressor over there toolbox but this is kind of stuff I can take home with me because I've got my truck with me. That generator makes a really, really good um, generator. I got one very similar to that. So you're going to see a lot of stuff. Man, here's some buggies. Oh, look, there's your Chinese mini excavator in this small lot. Some gates some wood carvings, jumper cables. Tie down straps, nice jack, shackles. My wife actually just bought me a bunch of shackles uh, at an estate sale. But you can never really have too many shackles. Oh yeah, look, here's all these Chinese, here's all this Chinese stuff, here. Big chains, a cup cadet, a little dump bucket. I'm actually going to go look for, I need to get registered and all that. Look at this carriage. I need to send that to my wife and say, hey, you want me to bring one of these back for the farm? See if she'll like that. <laughs> uh, but then let's go look at, uh, look at, let's go look at the big equipment over there. There's a light cart. I've been looking for a light cart. Man, I should have brought more money. go check out these telehandlers and see if I, there's anything I need to look at on my machine. I don't see I don't see any with like lull on the on the uh, boom. They're all like uh, J JLG, but I think JLG actually makes the lull, but you know what I'm trying to say. Look at those big old cranes back there. Golly. But like, I really need to downsize. So that little da Daichi right there might be better for me. I'll have to research some of that stuff. I watch a channel called Farmcraft 101, and he... Uh, he rebuilt his, like his little sky lift or whatever, man lift, and it, it turned out really good. Wish I had that skill set, you know? Yeah, these things are all just too new for me. Let me go look over here. Uh oh, that one's got a, I'm only flat on bottom though, so that's okay. Yeah, see, this is about the size I needed right here. Probably a 4,000 lift capacity, maybe something like that. Maybe six at the most, but. I would say in the 4,000 pound range. Oh, uh, total weight allowed 5,000 or 6, 
5,680 is what the plate says. Yeah, that's what we need right there, fellas. A couple of loading docks. Some grapples. Some pallet forks. Actually, you know what? Eventually I need to look for forks. I need some fork extensions too. But they, you can buy those anywhere. There's some side-by-sides. But the forks that I need for my machine is... Uh, has the holes in them, not the, not kind of the clips, but the holes and slides through a bar. That's this. That's what I have. Let's go look at the big equipment. Can you imagine having a crane like this? Like, look how big that boom is. Golly. I mean, that's just a massive machine. All right, check out the. Let's crank one of these up, y'all too. Crank up to the old 650 and see what's up. 650K. I wonder if it's got, don't they have codes on them? Let's see. The air works. Air works. I wonder what the code is. Exhaust filter. It's got seven codes. Oh, code set, let's see. Select active codes. ECU. Man, you start looking at computers and it, it does that to you, man. It's it's bad. There we go. I have to look at the sprockets, man. About the size we need in our place right here. Man, the AC blows cold, what I'm saying. <laughs> it's cold AC. Lock these bad boys up before I get off. But let's take a look at the undercarriage. Oh yeah, look at those sprockets, my goodness. You can shave with those things. But the pins don't look bad. Yeah. No, to have a dozer. Let's go look at some of those wheel loaders. That's what I need right there. A little 450. A G would work. That's probably in my price range too. That one's got the old Craigslist paint job on it. Look at the size of that bucket.
the 310 G has a new one. Uh, I just saw uh, Chris and Mike pull up, so they're probably going to be at the excavator soon, knowing those guys. Let's go look at some buckets. I'm not seeing any any like tractor buckets unused attachments but oh boy if you want it they got it tracks thumbs buckets cylinders wow i will say this this is so much bigger than that one that i went to in alabama and this thing's huge i can't imagine what a richie's brother one is like I, I just noticed something and I, and I think to myself who who buys something like this this is a axle a, this seems to be an axle off of something who <laughs> I mean it's massive golly What kind of shit is green? It's like a lime green in color. So what's that? Maybe a, a, a Terex, maybe something off a Terex type of vehicle or a piece of equipment. Dump beds. All right, let's keep looking. Could it be that I have found the rarest excavator in the world? A Ferrari. I don't know how you say that, but it looks like Ferrari. I've never. So it's got a Kabatsu tag on the door PC 300 I wonder why it's called a Ferrera 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 <laughs> oh, it's a big son of a gun though you guys ever heard of that before of course you have you know I'm all new to this I was talking last night oh there's a link belt one down there too I was talking last night to these guys and they were um I said, I said something that a lot of people don't realize was it, uh, something a lot of people don't realize is I didn't even I didn't even step foot on heavy equipment until I was like 50 years old. I'm 53 now, so all these guys and you know all you guys have 40 years on me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean I was I was an Air Force guy. I drove tractor trailers for a little bit, but we didn't do any equipment. We just drove tractor trailers, you know. But we're gonna ride down this. Uh, Oh, there's tons of Chinese mini excavators there. We're gonna ride down this aisle and see see what they got. See, I'm over here looking at this stuff on this side. You guys probably want to see this stuff over here, the big stuff. What's the white one? Is white one usually a link belt? Let's go see what the white one is. There's a bobcat. I'm a, I'm a bobcat fan. Of course, I don't really care about this kind. Of, I mean, I'm not brand loyal on this heavy equipment stuff. Some people are. It says cat on the uh, seat. Carolina cat here. Was this like a Patriot model or something? Oh, a Blythe? What's a Blythe? Well, there you go. A Blythe. I got. I'll have to do some research and see what does cat make the Blythe excavators. Let's go look. Let's go look on the other side and see if it's got a cat motor in it. Yeah. Sure does. Changed the filters in August of '23. I knew they was bringing it to an auction. It actually looks clean. Fluid level's good there. On the hydraulics. Yeah. So it's got a cat motor in it. My goodness. Look at that. We're going to operate one here in a minute. All these Chinese mini excavators. It looks so tiny beside the big ones don't they yeah. I was gonna come down here and look at this link belt Hatate. it's 
It's got like a, a crusher of some sort on it. Yeah, some type of, maybe for a scrap yard or something, you know. Window tents there, 460E. You just don't see a lot of link belt stuff where I'm from. So they might be popular in other areas, but they're not, not too popular around my place. Interesting. See, somebody's been tearing up the dirt with it. Dump buckets. Let's go fire up one of these little mini excavators. See what's going on here. Let's see if it's going to choke. Mark release. Give it some throttle. See that? My goodness gracious, that thing is herky jerky, what I'm talking about. Man, that was jerky jerky. How you access some of them you access the motor. This thing, this whole thing with that, yeah. Ooh, look at that smoke. They all are the same. But man, that one was jerky. 13.5 Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> That's so funny. Beat your shovel. There you go. All right, let's keep looking. I could be heavy D sparks if I got this old Oshkosh right here. Looks like they're fixing to fire, fire it up right here. Thank you. Thank you, man. Get that call. The up. Oh, they're gonna do like the storage. Looks like they're gonna do the contents of the storage container over there. So I found Dirt Perfect over here at the Diesel Creek Isle. <laughs> is this the Diesel Creek? Yeah. Anyway, what you looking at? Well, this is the this is the aisle we can afford. Oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. This is the scratch and dent, and inspection port comes free in the block. There you go. <laughs> you know, hey, listen. You got to find out what you're working with. See, this with. is not a Willow Star. This is guaranteed not to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is stuff that, like I say, man, Matt, uh, Matt will bring home with him, won't he? So this, this is the this is is this your first time at these auctions? It, it's the first time at a big auction like this. So this yeah. is this is the hidden gem location. This is the hidden gem section. All that stuff up there is supposedly detailed out and great. Right, and right. Good pictures on the internet and sure. sell for millions of dollars. This is the stuff nobody knows what to do with. They give away. Oh yeah. You come back here and go shopping. It's the secret, the secret sauce, huh? Yeah. That's and awesome. It's the only eye I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna run around. Eventually, uh, I I told I told Mike I was like, listen. There's a couple I, of YouTubers here. They ain't quite as big as what I am. You know, hey, you know, you listen. Know, but, you know, you can't. You gotta. They may be bigger than us. But we're the cool kids. You've got to. You've got to be careful with the company you keep. Is what I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna keep looking. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
Now here at the little scrap table here. Twenty dollar shop rag. Grease extensions, clips, wire wheels. I gotta buy something. Pins. Random random things. I've seen a couple of different uh K9 for Warriors support so I'll, I'll go donate to those guys here in a minute kind of help get some like service dogs for warriors and things but right now i gotta get something to drink that's the first one six fifty is money anybody else got two left some root breaks are going on right now quickly anybody i got five to go five and a half i got five to go five and a half five fifty I can find a hundred and five and a half, you buy the team, you can get it, 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 you I got the money all two, three, but you do it high, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you 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 do it, Ikea. Ikea. Yeah, the, uh, the little China mini excavators. So, um, we ordered these on Wish. Man, I'm telling you. Emu, whatever it is. Yeah. So I was actually going to, while we're down here, I was going to see if Chris would like talk to me about, you know, what he looks for in an excavator, used excavator. Right here. That's so, all you need. All you need. is better than a shovel, one right? One size fits all. Yeah. It's better than a shovel. Now, from what I understand, you've got a pretty funny story about, about these. Uh, oh, about. Uh, the bronc and bull yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we got on one there and the uh the governor wasn't working and it 
she she ran away. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Stratton was screaming. Yeah. They're fun little things. Yeah, like I say, it beats a shovel. Slightly. Yeah. So. At least on the first scoop. At least on the first scoop. That's right. I think you need some of these on the farm. You can put this in the pickup truck. I think so. You can take it home. Put in the back of the So I think it. I think it would fit. But now we got we got some big ones over there. So what's what do I look for if I'm looking to at a auction type, uh, auction type excavator? So so when I'm looking, obviously I'm going to look for like sprocket where. Yeah, you're going to come over here and you can see the undercarriage. It needs a little little TLC. Right. Honestly, these machines right here aren't that old. Uh, these are only like three or four years old. So the undercarriage shouldn't be too terribly bad. You're going to be looking at your sprocket. Oh, they're getting down. She's she's tracked a lot. Yeah. Or what do these have, like 3,000 hours on them? I think it was like 31 or something. So, prime it well, that one's about, yeah. about the exact. So these should be about twice as thick as they are. Okay. 37. So 3,700 hours. It's been a lot of time down here in the sand, most likely. That grinds down, which in return wears all these pins down. That's right. So when you're feeling that, you can feel an edge on there. If you feel a whole lot, you can tell it's getting wore out. Because uh, once all that gets wore out, the bushings wear out then uh it makes some very bad noises and, <laughs> and... yeah so it's uh so you look for all that so, i mean I, i'm not going to say that that's your most expensive part but that costs a lot of money to fix that right, right. all new cha or chains and yeah uh rails the rails and the sprockets and pins and bushings that, that gets expensive so, so look at that because that'll kind of determine you know a lot of people they'll run the life out of it send it to the auction and you know cosmetically the machine looks good next thing you know you got 15 grand you got to dump in yeah. before you can even use it without tracks falling off so what kind of that. what kind of considerations do i need for a metal track versus rubber track uh the environment you're working in pretty pretty much yeah. i mean your application like normally all the mini excavators and stuff have rubber tracks because you're going to be on asphalt concrete these destroy that it's not made for that you can drive that yeah. anywhere but also the like i said application you're going to be on a lot of you probably don't have a lot of rock and stuff down here. That, that's pretty rough on those rubber tracks. Yeah. Uh, normally all the bigger stuff has steel tracks on it. Yeah. Or you can get the, I guess the, what are they, the pads, the street pads, or it's a steel track with rubber pads on it. Yeah, so I've seen those. Kind of same, but yeah. you definitely get more traction with these right here. And obviously you can drive it with about anything. Yeah. Well, are you going to fire this thing up or what? Go fire it up. Well, hold on a second. We got this. Everything. Okay, look, look at everything. Let's Normally, if you look under it and don't see a puddle, you know, <laughs> yeah, then you're pretty square. Right? I know you're. I know you're uh, used to looking at the puddles. That's and right. Stuff, but, yeah. uh, I'm, yeah. I'm concerned if it don't have a puddle. If it doesn't have a puddle, it ain't got an oil in it. Well, right. I look at it. That's right. Uh, that's that. Uh, I don't know how that one opens up. The, the yep, door there. shut, so that's not going too well. Is that not the? Oh, no, it's jammed. Yeah, yeah. You gotta use your man hands, I yeah. guess. So you'll have like a master disconnect sometimes that'll be off. All right. Check that and just look through here, see if you got any uh, hydraulic leaks or anything, coolant. A lot of tall tail signs, just start looking in places. If you got a questionable machine, you can see like, oh, this is dust, like right in here. All right. But if a machine's been sunk, you'll end up seeing mud in places. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah. yeah. Kind of yeah. look in there and I'll tell you if something happened that uh, shouldn't have happened. Uh, that's never seen grease since day one. <laughs> Neither has most of this machine. You'll see, you'll see here in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> don't but, mess up the paint now. I don't want to mess up the paint. Yeah. But, I mean, this it's going to happen. Most machines are going to end up with uh, maybe not that much paint missing. But right, with right. Some, um, little, little cosmetic damage. My drop pump will be over here. A little so, blemish. Uh, I normally like to look at filters and see. I think he said it had 3,700 hours on it. Yeah, that's what he said. And this was done at 3,100, so it's already overdue for service. Yeah. So a lot of times you can look at that and be like, you know, that filter might say 2,000 hours, and then it's sitting on 4,000 hours. You're like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. that's uh, not good. This one's been in the mud a little bit. You can see right here where the mud squirted up. Oh, yeah. You can see that. Play balls. Not the end of the world. I don't see where it's been yeah sunk or anything like that but all in all it looks relatively uh dry back, back here it is it is i think it's a little wetter back here than what a, a three thousand some hour machine should be but uh i don't know it could have could have had a hose bust or something there there you go yeah something could be leaking so i think this is like a 2020 machine so it's really 
And LC means long carriage. Is that what that means? Uh, or something, so. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fire it up. Normally, look at your cylinders. You can already see, which is kind of weird too. Both those cylinders are already leaking. Yeah. Especially the one on the cab. Mm -hmm. You see the oil ring there and running down yeah. the cylinder. Yeah. So yeah. You're gonna be needing. Uh, that's gonna need to be repacked soon. Whoo! And those things are big. Those are horses right there. <laughs> so you're looking at cylinders and everything, especially your bucket cylinder. You're looking back here. Um, a lot of times those will get damaged right there from low boys and oh, yeah. banging and stuff. You're looking at that. So yeah. Main thing you're gonna notice right here. Um, the grease worms got to it. <laughs> and you'll oh, see oh, you can see it there yeah. when, when he does the shaky, shaky. Yeah. Wow. The, uh, <laughs> I would almost probably never. You got to get it from the back. Look at this. Oh my goodness. If the fella right there moves that one, that one is way worse. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got a little play in so, it. So, you know, Both of gonna, them. it's going to be, need to be reline board, new pins, bushings. You know, <laughs> That gets expensive going in there and doing all that. So. Yeah. Wow. It really depends on how. And if you look at that one right there. Yeah. Let me see. Let me. Yeah. You can do that right there, but you do the, the shaky, shaky back, back and forth. Just got the. All right. That's so, that's crazy. And now, and, I mean, that, that's a lot of money, all new pins and everything like that. Yeah. And a lot of times you look at the stick on these long stick machines, they'll actually like twist it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not another option. There's a fairly nice one stick, but the dang stick is actually twisted on it. Right. So, there's a lot to look at. Yeah, but that's, that, that is a, tell, even if you saw nothing else, you'd be oh, like, absolutely. yeah. Oh, that thing traveled about 10 inches when it moved. It's got some good play in it there. Yeah. Yeah, watch that thing travel up there like that. That's crazy. Like I said, like you're looking at your cylinders and everything, I mean, both of those have to be repacked. Yeah. And that just seems, that seems like low hours we're having to do. Look at the one on that one. Oh, you can see the oil on it. Yeah. I want. It's, it's just little things like that that you don't notice in the pictures. But when you come run it, you're like, hey. Yeah. This thing needs another twenty thousand dollars worth of yeah. know, work done to it. Yeah. These cylinders should not be leaking. No, not at three thousand. Yeah, three thousand. Yeah. I was looking at the boom cylinder on there. It's just yeah. leaking all out. Yeah, that's nuts. Crazy. So earlier in the video, I was talking about. Um, Blythe. Well, that's the name of a company Chris was selling me. So yeah, they thought Blythe was a brand. Yeah, I thought I said, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. It's a big company that paints all their equipment. All right, right. So you'll see a lot of big companies will send stuff here, and you'll, they'll be throughout the, the auction there. Yeah. With, with or without stickers on. It. Yeah. Interesting. But it's all about who t who had it, who took care of it. So yeah. as they say, fleet maintained is not always the, <laughs> the greatest thing in the world. Because yeah. if you had a crappy service guy. Yeah. Who never greased anything or you know, nobody ever Unbelievable. Not, not always the best thing in the world. Either. That's a fact, Jack. But also, you see a lot of stuff that was one owner stuff and it's just ragged out to it. Yeah. It's all about who who has it. My father in law don't watch my videos, so it's, it's him. It's him? Yeah, yeah. He it, didn't buy it to grease, is what you're saying. That's right. He didn't buy it to grease it. That's a fact. So, but. It's just a prime example. That one, this one's got three times the hours on it and it's twice as tight as that one. Yeah. So right. It's all about yeah. your Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. All right, so we made it to my my style. Your style. You said that you needed a good farm machine. I do need a farm machine. So we're machine. right here. Right. <laughs> here you go. There in the budget go. and everything. I would. I would the also. Thing is it's always been greased. Remember it, how we talked about greasing and maintaining? Yeah, yeah. They uh they owned a grease gun and they didn't stop till it like ripped off. Yeah. 
I would thought. much rather have it like that than the, sure. the opposite way. So you were saying like a 18, 20,000 pound machine right, you're looking yeah. well. This is a little Yanmar 80. I've been very happy with them. Let's see how many hours we got on it. Well, we're not. There's no lightning bolts in it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got 2,600 hours on it though. Which is going to bump it on down into a more affordable price range. Yeah. Interesting. That was very sticky. Uh oh. Hang <laughs> mm. get up here and show yeah. us how to do this thing. Well, no, it's it, this definitely going to need some traction for long. You can look at that and see that yeah. they're they're getting cracked and all these. Have they repainted it? I can't tell. I think there's a it has. I see the paint. Some overspray on it. Yeah. At least some of it anyway. They gave her a pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, the blades have been repainted. But I mean, you just look at the tracks and see that those aren't. That's right. Don't look bad, but these these things seem to last forever, though. All right. Plus, not being a production machine. Yeah. So, what is your red Yanmar Mini? Uh, fifty-five. A fifty-five. A fifty-five. That's a uh, twelve thousand pound machine. Yeah. Which is more like a little easier to transport too, I imagine. Yeah, a little bit easier, but like you say, these it's identical to that one right there. Yeah. Like the fifty-seven. Yeah. Which is a good machine, but uh, when it comes to digging up stumps, this is going to be right. Uh, yeah. Night and day difference. But they got some more. They got some Komatsu that everyone can look at. All right. They're about the same, same size as this one. Oh, this is the Quick Connect too, right? Yeah. So these have a hydraulic Quick Connect. So you literally just uh, push a button in there, and it squeezes together, and the bucket dumps off. That's what I like about these. They're so easy. The Kubota, they're all manual, so you got to get there and pull the pins out. Yeah. It's kind of a fast manual, but you still got to come out here. And pull you gotta take that cotter pin out knock that out yeah and then it dumps out of it so right. it's still a coupler but you would think in 2024 that Kubota would have a hydraulic quick coupler by now but sure they still have it well yeah I take, no, I take my word back <laughs> I don't know if that's a Kubota hook. yeah is that an aftermarket yeah it's a it's a aftermarket yeah, yeah. I need to send a picture of that to Zach. He's been wanting a uh, hook coupler. That one comes with a hook on the bucket too. Yeah. That's probably yeah. a serious one on the. Yeah. Identical to this. It's got the, uh, it's got rubber pads Where on it's it. individual rubber. These are the nice rubber pads where it's individual. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Something like the continuous chain ones like these, I hit and miss on the other. Yeah. Yeah. So those are obviously solid rubber. And then you got that one down there. It's got steel cut. <laughs> H and E, I've I've rented from them before. Yeah. Yeah. So this is some type of uh, a little clean out ditching. Buddy. Clean out ditching. Buddy. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, That's always good. Yeah. He just said it had a lot of code there. There's a lot of beeping going on. A lot on. of beeping. A lot of beeping. <laughs> no starts either. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a real nice machine right here. Yeah. Quality. Quality. But we have had great luck. Oh, we have a utility stuck on our Kamat. See, we wear the boom will lay completely flat out so the with the thumb hmm? is that what is that 75 yes this one's a 75 cabelco 78 or it's close but actually these actually have the sliding door uh, another thing right here when it says uh grease hammer every day that means this machine probably had a hydraulic hammer on it oh yeah they tend to not buy those <laughs> they yeah tend to, they tend to uh be a little more <laughs> shaking up yeah this one has it where you can bolt the rubber pads over top of it that's what those holes are oh okay see what that one will do yeah this one actually looks really nice hey and it cranks up cranks up it's well, I'm seeing them with solid metal tracks kind of well the good thing about the the triple grousers is you know it's got three right on it there once they're packed full of dirt, if you do have to go across the asphalt or something, it's really, it really doesn't mess yeah. up. As long as it's not 100 degrees. I know you're in Florida, so it doesn't ever get 100 degrees. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Well, it's got the long stick on it, so it's got the most amount of reach. Apparently, dying. It's dang near impossible to find a used mini that's not. Nobody greets them like they should be. Yeah. Got a little play in it. That's really good for a mini. Yeah.
4,900 hours. That'll do everything you need to do. Yeah. What's that machine weigh, you think? What's that weigh? 18, 20,000? 18 to 20,000. Yeah. <laughs> Literally or figuratively? <laughs> I don't know. Those rubber pads are pretty heavy, too. So yeah. It, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot off. Yeah. If I had to guess, I would say that's an 18,000 pound machine. Right. You got your name all over it. Right Man, there. I'm telling you, load it up. They said they they ship it home for me. All I gotta do is raise my hand when the yeah be the last one to you raise my hand. That guy that just came by, I'll figure out how to get it home for you. <laughs> That's right. Or if you got a prepay. Yeah. Let me jump. Yeah, let me jump on this thing. So take your red handle all the way here. There you go. This one, these kamatsu. Sometimes you really got to make sure it's right. down. Has it got snowflakes? It's got snowflakes going out of it. You know, he could pipe a thumb in on this and it'd be a good machine. I like the steel tracks. It's original paint. It's really, that's probably one of the nicest. That's a long reach. Yeah, you, I, that's a long reach. Yeah, I like the long reach. Yeah. Plus, you'll find that these things are real sturdy and if you did pipe a thumb in on it it would be very handy so much more versatile i've been a kamatsu guy I, we had some over the years and i really enjoyed ours yeah i'm sorry about that i should have looked at your foot before. no you're fine I, i'm good at moving <laughs> <laughs> Look, this has the extra counterweight in on it. Yeah. Probably for that hammer. It's the handle. I can't do it over here. It's probably locked. Put it locked. No. Here's right. wool. Look at our 47. So the oil was changed within 200 hours. 4730. Oh, that thing's making oil. Yeah. <laughs> Full. Yeah. We had great luck with ours only thing we really did with R78 was cosmetic, you know, undercarriage. Are they so. Kamasu engines? What engines no, are they? Uh, uh, um, Kubota, Yamar? Uh, oh, I, no, I, I thought it was a Kubota. I'm looking, I don't see. I mean, there's the tag right there, but I don't know. Engine model. I don't know what motor they run on. Okay. Kamatsu Tier 4. Well, it's a Kamatsu Tier 4 then. I don't know, but you can see... It's a 2014 model. Really? Yeah. Well, it's it's pretty pretty good. Now. Yeah. It's very good to do that. I mean, this this is normally what minis look like. Yeah. At this hour. And yeah. Look at... Look at him in his natural habitat. <laughs> just I, just, I just want to be in the air conditioning. I know how. I, listen, you might be some dumb, but you ain't plum dumb. Nope. Yeah. Now he's just showing off. Yeah. Now he's just showing off, ain't he? Speed up. <laughs> hey, can you fix that for me? I can, yeah, tomorrow. So you just really, really don't need a whole lot of work. Uh, you probably want to redo this and redo yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah.
So one thing that uh, Drew just showed up, and uh, Drew and Bronze just showed up, but the uh, one thing we just noticed, if you look at this truck, it's in another video of mine when we did the auction in Alabama. Ain't that crazy? They brought it down here to uh, to Florida, Orlando from Alabama, but that's the exact same truck. It was missing an outrigger, and uh, the the uh, the boom don't swing. He says, but remember this right here yep exact same truck crazy in it yeah that's nuts that they would bring it down here to this auction try again oh <laughs> <laughs> choked it out he tried to pull forward and it quit there he goes so what my my Look at that, how herky jerky that yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's right with that rubber band. <laughs> Always go. <laughs> you sure he's hot, but it doesn't get to the road. Probably didn't feel it all over the road. That's so crazy. I just don't know if y'all understand how, how jerky that thing is on the video. Right now. <laughs> you gotta give it some gas, B. Might have to go here and get one of those things. Show me how operator does it. Got a work light on it. I don't think these things do, but for like a mile and a half an hour or something like that. Man, I missed it. Dadgum it. See the bucket? Man. Let me pull that side. Man. <laughs> Bring your leg. Uh-oh. Man, I didn't even have it on camera, man. Shoot. Look at that bucket laying in the ground like that. That was almost a disaster. I mean, literally, there's people walking around it and stuff. Man, look, this guy's doing his. I hope they all don't do that. Yeah, that was that was nuts. Yeah. 
Uh, man, I just turned my camera off too. Crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. We were sitting there talking, there's boom. And that son of a gun fell right in the middle of the ground. Alright, so he's gonna try to he's gonna try to recover it. Wow, that was that was something right there. I wouldn't put it back on. It might happen again. Yeah. Well, there's your problem. That Michelob Ultra can come out the back. Of <laughs> Somebody was. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he's just going to set it off to the side there. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, he, I think he's just going to set it off to the side so no one else does it again. Yeah. There it goes. Now maybe the next person won't actually drop it on some. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Man, that was a trip, man. That was that was the craziest thing I've seen at an auction ever. That was nuts. A buddy. Yeah. Found ice cream and a buddy and uh Where might go? He bought a roller. Did he really? A little nine wheel little yeah. dinosaur of a roller. Alright. Nobody uses those things. <laughs> That's why. 30 years old. That's all they use them all. A lot of companies use them around the uh, world. Dude, see the, uh, oh, was it the link belt? What, what, yeah, which? Uh, dude, dude ran his boom out and the bucket came off in the middle of the. Oh, the, 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 the couple wasn't even hooked. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It fell off literally in the middle we of it. We were going to mention that yesterday that it was Woo! unhooked there. Clint he said, and that, kid, that young kid, he was he got out of the machine. He said, <laughs> yeah. he got a flip phone out of his pocket. Yeah, he was out of there, dude. And uh, but I mean, if it had been somebody under there, it killed oh, him. Oh, man, it would knock your leg clean off his foot. Yeah. So uh, he didn't pick the bucket. Right? Well, I mean, what do you know about people losing legs, dude? Been there one time. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the uh. But no, it was it was crazy. It was definitely nuts. Anyway, when I when, when we're walking around looking at this stuff, there's there's out of about 10, 12 of us here. There's only one guy that really knows what oh, he's doing. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> he's got my he's got my number and, and he, my jumper. Yeah, he's yeah. talking and I'll link a video. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> so Clint from CNC equipment. If you don't know him, the, uh, did you buy some rollers too? Uh, yeah, I bought, well, well, I, I bought four right. rollers today. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. He bought the roller. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. You did you drive your low boy down here? Or? Yeah, I did not. No, no. I just brought the camper down. Nice. Oh. I don't have enough time to drive the semi down. Yeah, that's right. I already so. got two loads heading up. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you can uh, keep Mike out of trouble a little longer. Yeah. That's hard to do. Uh, <laughs> what do you need in my jump pack? It's yeah. fine. I don't know what it's, it's, it's fine. No it's, it's, trust, trust me, it's fine. So. Put it back right. But anyway, I'm gonna get next. The next time I buy a bulldozer, I'm gonna I'm gonna call Clint and say, "Hey man, how do you how, how do you how do you move this thing?" You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can you can guarantee if he's if he put his hands on it, he's got it running right. So, but anyway, all right. Let's keep looking around. You look just like Andrew Camarada or whatever Camarada. <laughs> These things are handy though. You got an air 
No, it's regular latch. Is that your on off switch here? Parking brake. Parking brake. Make it go forward and backwards. Don't hit my buggy. Maybe that's why it ain't moved. Interesting. Maybe your seatbelt's got to be on. Ah, your seatbelt had to be on. That's cool. There you have it. Well, we're loaded back up. Didn't buy nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the auction. You guys take care. God bless you guys.